We have important information for online entrepreneurs. You don't want to miss this. You can transform your blog posts, podcasts, videos, PDFs into eBooks, lead magnets, virtual flipbooks, and PDFs. We're going to show you a great tool to repurpose the content you already have as we take an inside look at Designer. This is the online digital tutor where we give you tips to build your online business. We buy shiny objects so you don't have to, and we tell you what we think. There are a lot of tools out there that say they can help you make ebooks and lead magnets in a flash. But when you import your content, it looks like alphabet soup and things never work the way you expect. Well, you won't be disappointed with Designer. It works exactly like it says it will. Let's take a look inside. When you log into Designer, it's going to bring you to this dashboard. Now, your dashboard is going to look a little different because you won't have any projects there. Here, this is filled with some projects that I've already created. But you want to start by clicking this Help tab and taking a tour. This will open up a video for you. You really want to watch the first two videos because it's going to give you an overview and it will be very helpful in getting started with the software. If you have specific issues, you can click here and go into the Help and Learning Center and there you'll find some simple tutorials, you'll find some task lists, it will show you the various things you need to do to create specific parts of your project. Now every time you create a project you're going to start from this dashboard and if you have existing projects you can preview them or you can go back and edit them. Here you find the Drafts tab. Now in the Drafts tab it's going to give you a copy of everything that you imported. So all your files will be here. You can re-import them into Designer after you go back and edit them and make some changes. But this is where you want to do the editing of your, your project drafts. Media Manager, that's where all of your project images are stored. And if you want to, you can go to the Search tab and type in a keyword and it will bring up images from its collection that you can also use. You can also search for images inside of any project. Now if we go back to the uh, dashboard, here at the top of the dashboard is where you can upgrade your plan. You can promote designer and earn commissions and you can access other services such as done for you projects, design projects, and you can access the help section. Down here is a knowledge base that uh, if you click on that, you can search through articles, you can search through tutorials. You can take a tour that will let you access the video walkthrough tutorials. Don't skip any of the help sections. I did and designer sat unused on my desktop for some time, but now it's my go-to design tool for putting together ebooks and lead magnets. This uh, blue tab here also gives you access to the support team. Send a message or get access to useful content. Now let's take a look at some of the workflows. The first workflow, you want to take your source content, which is already edited, spell checked, and prepared choose your source. So here we go to create a new project. And we're going to say we're going to import it from a Word doc. You can also import from blog posts. You can import from Google Docs. Um, but we're going to do it from, a, from a, a Word doc. We're going to call it test. And here if it's a URL, you can fetch it from here by putting in the URL, or you can upload a document from your computer. And let's just pick a document here. Um, let's see what we have. Uh, okay, so we'll just upload this document. Just takes a few seconds for it to upload. Okay, so now the document has been imported and we have to pick a template, uh, some kind of design, and there are 
you know, numerous templates that you can choose from that uh, are in different niches. But let's just select, uh, let's just grab this one. You can preview it as well. And now it goes through the process of preparing your ebook. You can import written content from blogs, websites, social content from Facebook pages, audio, video, and YouTube files. These get transcribed automatically in minutes with an upgraded plan. You can import PDF ebooks and white papers that you want to revamp or turn into a, a flip book. Uh, a lot of things you can do. Some things are at the pro level, but even on this basic, basic level, you can import content into designer and then use the design editor after you choose a template. And you can always choose, change the template later. You can add images from copyright free image search or upload your own. So now we have the document imported. We can change the title. We can put in the author name. Um, we can create menus. Uh, now, let's say this kind of left it as an orphan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that down by saying uh, new page. I'm going to drag that right on top of that element right there. Select new page. Now it's just added a page. And now if I hit this little thing, it's going to reformat and move everything up. And then, of course, with each section, I can change the typeface. I can bolden it. I can uh, I make it italicized. I can change the colors. I can change the font. There are a lot of things that you can do here. And if you want to make it a universal change, what you want to do is put this element on and it will make changes to all the elements at once. Now, remember that a copy gets saved in the drafts. If there's an error or formatting problem, you can go there and fix it and re-import it back into Design Editor. You can review your draft, revise your draft content, uh, or customize your transcript, add speaker names, video screenshots, sh block quotes, highlights. Now you can customize the colors, the fonts, the images, everything that starts to brand your product and this basically is your layout too. You can add in a cover page. You can import additional content. You can add in a back page, table of contents. You can put in inline calls to action. Just drag the elements wherever you want them to be. You got an inline call to action there that you can then go and, and edit. You can tweak it, you can tune it, you can finalize how you want your finished product to look by adding additional images, customizing any element in your document. You can change the cover, you can add page numbers, footers, headers, create 3D cover images. Um, then once you're satisfied with what your document looks like, then you can go ahead and publish it. And when you publish it, you're given a number of options. You can publish it for Adobe Reader, which will give you a PDF document. You can publish it as an Amazon Kindle file. You can create an EPUB for e-readers, or you can create an HTML document for your web project. Just give it a title, put the author's name. You can add a description if you will, and then click export. And then you've got a, a finished document. Now, in workflow number two, you can start with a template. And pull content into that template. And you'll find that a lot of the design work is already done for you. And then you can go ahead and tweak it. You know, just select start with a template. You can select from categories and choose your template first. Then in workflow number three, you can start from scratch within the design editor itself, copy and paste, or write the content from scratch. And those are the three core workflows for creating and editing eBooks and lead magnets. On the premium plan, you can upload MP3s and MP4s from a variety of video sources and designer will transcribe that into a document that you can further edit. 
in the transcription editor, you not only get the raw file, but you get a subtitle file, which you can then import into YouTube or put the raw transcript into a Word or a Google document. So this has been an overview of Designer, looking at some of the tools, the workflows, the choices that you get to make of how you want to work. In future videos, we'll walk you through the various tools, tasks, and tips to help you publish very professional looking products to grow your online business. There are a variety of plan options that are available to you. They're priced uh, differently depending on the plan. Some have a few additional features, but basically the standard or pro plan should work for you. You often come across uh, promotions, so you could get the standard plan for a $27 one-time fee, or you can get the pro plan, which is $97 a year, gives you uh, some additional project templates, some additional cover designs. Uh, this is the plan that I have, and to me, it's the most popular and most efficient. You can turn these into flip books uh, from any PDF uh, once you create your document and save it as a PDF, you can then turn it into a flipbook or you can upload a PDF and turn that into a flipbook as well. This is a flipbook project that I did. It basically creates a web file and you can then just go through page by page and makes for a great online screen reader. You can download it, uh, you can print it, you can uh, share it. Um, or you can just let it play through and it will do it at its own time and pace. Well, that's a look at Designer. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Check out this video next. Keep taking action online and keep building your online business.